Hey guys, and welcome back to this PES 21 Barcelona Master League series. Apologies for the delay on this video, I said the same on the Pompey one as well. Um, last couple of days I haven't been able to get much recording done, I haven't been at home, my car's been in the garage for repair, so I've had to go and stay with friends and all that stuff. Anyway, bore you to death, don't worry about it, I'm just sorry that it's a little late. Also, a lot of people subscribing to my Twitch channel, following the Twitch channel. Um, I don't stream on there anymore guys, Facebook Gaming is where it's at now if you want to want to follow the streams. We stream most evenings, I have had a couple of days off because like I just said I haven't been at home but Facebook Gaming, link is down below, drop my page a follow, that would really help me out a lot. But last episode, we started to play like Barcelona should be playing and then Real Sociedad gave us a painful reminder of where we have failed this season. With 9 points clear of uh, 4th place, Athletic Club though, there are not many league games left, we're running towards season 2 now. I'm just going to show you the, uh, the league table in the, the most difficult way that I could possibly show you the league table. It's there, look. It's there. Annoyingly, at, uh, Atletico Madrid slipped up at the same time we did. We could have closed that gap and could have potentially pipped them to uh, to second place. But yeah, just like, what, four four league games left that we've got? I think do the maths. 29 and 5, yeah. Four league games left, guys. Four league games left. 12 points to play for. Pretty much there, aren't we? Roll on season two, that's what I say. Germans, what does this mean? They have renamed Messi De Kaiser. What, what, what does De Kaiser mean? What does it mean? Come on, German fans, tell me. LJ, LJ at home. It's got to be a dub. It's got to be a win. Has to be a win. Come on, let's finish the season on a high, guys. Come on. There's your team. There's your team. The new formation seems to be working well. That's probably a big, um, big factor behind changing form. At the moment, I think we are without some players. Klosterman and Pulisic are injured for this one, so they do miss out. We've got Messi playing behind Griezmann. It should be decent. 5-4-1 for Elche. I think they're showing us that they're going to defend from the off. Get in N'Golo. I love it. De Jong. Oh, what are you doing? Got away with it. Griezmann touches it on N'Golo. Yeah, you're not going to score, are you, son? You don't score goals. That's not your job. Ansu Fati. Oh, my God. What a ball. Messi. Never missing. Never missing. What is wrong with that defence, by the way? And why didn't the keeper come out and grab that? Leo don't care. Where's he going? Oh, yeah. Going to put that in. Very messy like that celebration. Too much smiling going on for Messi at Barca at the moment. Go on, boys. Let's have a look at the replay. Ansu Fati's pass. It was actually a decent build-up play. But this, through that gap. See ya. Looked offside to me, but can't have been. Best. Oh, collision. Griezmann might win the second ball. Another collision. Collisions everywhere. They're colliding. It's like a big game of Bulldog. Everyone remembers Bulldog in the playground, right? You must have played that game. Or is it just an English thing? Defending to be done. Defending to be done. Oi, it's done. It's done. I think that's the big part that we need to improve for next season, the defending. We're not really hard to beat. If we don't score, it's not like, oh, we might get nil-nil draw. It's like, if we don't score, we're losing. Do you know what I mean? There have been times where we've needed to score like three or four. But I think we we, we do all right. We do all right attacking. I was about to say that. We don't. Look at Leo. Oh, it's phenomenal. Drill it out there. Oh, and Golo. Oh, you've actually done me a favour. Taking a bit of pace off it. Dembele. Griezmann. Messi. Why are you hitting it right? Hit it on your left. Left stop. Elche, by the way. Um, rename themselves to Dog Shit FC because they're playing really bad. They're actually terrible. I mean, we're making them look good. We're making them have chances. Go on, Dest. I see him sprinting forward. He's giving it back to Dembele who stands it up. Griezmann! Oh, it's beauty. It's a beauty. These are, honestly, this is possibly the poorest team we've played all season. That was a great goal. We saw Dest just steaming forward like Roadrunner. Meep, meep. And then he laid it off. Dembele hung it in the air. And that is a wicked header, to be fair. Cross comes in, headed towards goal to Stegen. Flies over there and denies them. That would have made the game interesting just before half time, but so far, we're cruising. Oh, cheers. I'll take that. Griezmann will go. We've got Messi with him. We'll pick him out. Leo. Ah, oh, I should have turned the other way. Poor Leo. Win that deal. Why is Matey on the floor over there? What happened? Off the ball. Why are you backing away from the ball? What is going on there? Messi. It's going to lay it off to Fatty. N'Golo is there, isn't he? Boom! N'Golo. Oh, that wasn't the ball I was trying to play. That was. Here is Dest. Going to go back. Dembele, I want to bend one tops, but no need. No need. Not when we're playing beautiful football like this. Oh, they're going to tackle us. 
Oh, good effort. Good effort. Come on in and go, like. Come on in and go, like. Come on in and go, like. Oh my god, he's hit the post. He's literally clobbered the post. What on earth? Picked it up in his own half. Nearly turns into a prime George Ware there with an individual solo goal. Look at that. Making a double change. I bought on Haaland because I reckon there's a goal in this game for him. And Ricky Puich as well. Get some game time for the youngster. Hopefully see a lot more of him next season. We haven't probably developed him as much as we should have done this year. Decent little player. Barca fans like him as well, I believe. So maybe we'll, we'll get him some game time in these final sort of three or four games of the season. See what he can do. See if we can improve him. Oh, God. To improve his defending. Dest. Oh, he slipped. He's actually slipped. That should be fine. Yes, keeps. <laughs> yes, Puich. Love that. Show that you're a little fighter as well. You're not just a, a luxury ball player. Look at that. Ball drops loose. Doesn't even go for the ball. Straight at the man's legs. Eight minutes to go. Oh, he's gone for goal. He's hit the wall. That's that's perfect. Go on, win it back, lads. Win it back. Counter-attack could be on if you win it. Go on, Leo. Yeah, get down. I didn't think he'd give nothing. That was good strength from little Messi. Go on, son. Go on, Leo. I'll run offside. What a pigeon. Keep it with Leo. Ugh. I want to slip it through to Ireland, but the runs he makes are terrible. Oh, they're in. Offside. Second half's been a bit of a bore fest, but hey, we did we did the hard work that we needed to in the first 45. We got the job done early doors. And that is great to see. And that is, this is how next season should go. These fixtures should be routine. Boom. We know that we're going to beat those teams. Elche, Cadiz, Ibar, th those teams that we're just going to turn up win the game and then look towards an Atletico clash or a severe clash or something like that. 2-0 Barca. Anyone slip up? Anyone slip Ooh, Atletico Madrid did slip up. Oh, if only we'd have beat Sociedad, man. The gap, though, the gap is five points and there's nine to play for. So what we'll do, we will actually um, play this game and then we'll do the next episode will be two games and a season roundup rather than do like a three and a one. That's just weird when you've got four games left, right? It's almost perfectly set to chop it in half. So today we'll have those two games. Tomorrow we'll have the final two games. And then at the weekend on Saturday, season will begin for real. Haaland is the goal king, apparently. Top scorer around. Is he? Is that true? Good as he can cross them in the back. This is great news. Is he? Probably he's not one of the league's top scorers, is he? Kind of want to know now. Goal ranking. He is. He's a top scorer in the league. Haaland, 19 league goals. I didn't even know that. Something tells me this won't be an easy fixture. Valencia away. Starting Haaland, of course. He's in the running from the golden boot. I'm not going to start resting him. I'd be out of order. Imagine if he gets beaten by like one goal because he didn't play in the last few games. Fuming. There's your team. Playing this formation that's worked so well for us in recent weeks. Messi, Haaland. Pulisic comes back in. Klosterman comes back in. Other than that, no real changes. 4-4-2 for Valencia, which is not the Valencia teams that we're used to. But their star man, their star defenders, I should say, Jordi Alba and Gerard Piquet come back to play against us. I forgot that they both went to Valencia. That's nuts. That is nuts. There he is. Boo. No, we wouldn't boo them. They're fine. They had a good spell at Barca. They were part of the proper Pep Barca time, um, team. Team or time, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, but we let them go. Their time is up. They were fine. There's no reason to hate. Oh, Messi. Lovely sharp turn. What you got? Wee. Is that Daniel Vass? Yeah. Out muscles Messi. Fabrino. Taking on Klosterman. Literally just run around in a circle. De Jong chasing back. Cross comes in. To stay in his hand. Pulisic. Oh, that's a nice touch. And pass to De Jong. Go on, son. Haaland is going. He wants that golden boot. Erling Haaland. See you later. Whack. Oh, good save. Can he get there for the rebound? No. Corner, though. Messi to drive it in. Haaland's at the back stick. He heads it down. No, he doesn't. He gets absolutely clattered. Is it bad that I'm actually more concerned with Haaland grabbing goals than us winning the game? I'd love him to get his golden boot. And we're not going to win anything with corners like that. Valencia take this corner. They play it short. Oh, dummy there. Messi. Oh, no. He's run past the ball. That should be ours. Should be dealt with. Half dealt with. And Golo shutting the man down. Awful Valencia socks on this kit. Look at that. It's like zebra's legs. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, it's just gone wide. It's PK. I'd just like to clarify. I don't think zebras have stripy legs. I don't even know what I'm saying. Why am I even... 
Where is my brain today? Zebra's legs. Free kick here to Valencia. And Vass looks very interested in this. Can he get it up and over the wall? No, absolutely not. Klosterman, win that, please. Looked like a nasty head collision. Ref says, yeah, get up, mate. Get on with it. Valencia say, yeah, we're playing on regardless. Here they come. Defending to be done. Why are we, we're, we're, Defending's gone out the window again in this game. We haven't actually defended that well at all. He says, as De Jong nips in there. Finds Haaland. Messi. Through to De Jong. That was nice. Oh, just couldn't get away. Now Valencia's turn to attack. We're committing too many bodies towards the ball. And Titi, though, does brilliantly. Here we go, lads. Here we go. Christian Pulisic. Turn and go. you got pace. Run at him. Run at him, Christian. De Jong's inside. That's brilliant. Messi to your left. Haaland. Why am I just shouting Haaland when I'm going for goal? Oh, as if. We've just gone to sleep. It's a great finish, to be fair, from Sabrino, but we've got to be better than that. What happened here? Was it just a stray pass? That was a slow one from Dest. Just dallied on the ball a little bit. Crossed him in a little bit slow in getting across. Come on, Pulisic. See ya. Goodbye. Haaland's in the box. Ah. Had a few players in the box, but... Did the hard bit, which is beating the defender. That's quite hard to do on Pez, but Pulisic sometimes makes it look really easy. Haaland into Messi. Back through. Haaland. Oh, defender's flicked it up. Just got it out of out of Haaland's path. Oh, goal kick. Terrific. Oh, he's actually given a corner. Okay. Come on, let's pick someone out. Messi's delivery. Anyone up there? Oh, he's come out to Junior Firpo. What are you going to do with it from there? Not a lot. Right, into the second half we go. Dest. Dembele. You'd see a completely different Barca in this second half. N'Golo. Christian. Former Chelsea boys linking up. That is such a bad ball, but Pulisic make the best of it. He finds Leo. Leo only needs a little bit of room to operate in. Look at that. Going all the way through. Oh, just showed too much of it to the defender. Can we keep this attack alive? Yeah, Leo. Leo. Sometimes they fly in. Other times it's easy. Osterman, don't let him turn and shoot. Good defending there, but you shouldn't be the one pressing that. Should be one of the central midfielders. Oh, tried to intercept that, didn't you? You tried. You tried your very hardest. That should be... That is some schoolboy defending for you, isn't it? How bad was that? Honestly, how bad? How bad was that? Just look. Look at the state of it from here. From that moment on, you're thinking, all right, just jockey. No, where are you going? Oh, Pulisic, yeah, get the wrong side of your man. And then everyone else, just leave him if you want. And go low. Go on, lads. Just grab something. Just grab a little something. Haaland, yes! We're back in the game. And that's actually an important goal. Not only in terms of this fixture, getting something out of the game, but obviously in the rate race for the, uh, the golden boot. That's goal number 20. League goal number 20 of the season for Haaland. Proving... To be an excellent signing. There's good build-up play as well. Look at this. N'Golo, Dembele, little one-two with Dest. And then to have the awareness to pick him out was great. And he slipped. The draw would mathematically confirm third place as well. At the moment, it's not mathematically done. We have got the superior goal difference. But obviously, if we lose all our games and Athletic Club win all theirs, we won't have the superior goal difference. Oh, my God. Shut up about goal difference for a minute. Eh? Concentrate on the job that you've got to do. Here's Messi. No, it isn't. It's not Messi at all. De Jong into Leo. Leo, go. De Jong fancies it some more. De Jong. I don't want to hit it from distance, but I'm going to have to. Oh, I thought I'd done him. I actually thought I'd done him. I didn't have a lot else on. No other option. De Jong. Could just run into Christian Pulisic. Messi is there. No, he's not. What is wrong with Leo today? He's like looking around in the crowd. Like he doesn't understand. What's going on? That space jam. Go on, Angolo. Go on, lad. Into Leo's feet. There you go. Now he knows what's going on. Now he knows what's going on. Harland. Oh, what a save. What a save. I need to see a replay of that. That was great play. Angolo Kante started the attack. Played it into Leo. This time, Leo knows what's going on. Look at that. Flicks it around the corner. That's brilliant. And that's heading in. It's hit the keeper on the shoulder. Yes, Dion. Into Harland as well. Go on. Erling Haaland. No one blame you for having a crack, mate. You've got stuff to do. Just do it better. We're all out of attack. 
We are all out of attack. Go on, Leo. Pressure the keeper. Win that, Dembele. Yes. Somebody get there. Get there! Honestly. That's better. Go on, Christian. Where's Klosterman? He loves a goal. Here he is. I oh, don't... No. You don't get ahead of yourself, son. Christian, go all the way and then box it. Can you get a good ball in? You might be able to, you know. That's a decent ball, Haaland! <laughs> what on earth has just happened there? The goal king. The goal king. Oh, that's that's delightful. Calm down, everyone. The header. I'm gutted that the header didn't go in. Because that would have capped off a brilliant move. He's made the near post run. Headed it against the post. And then when the ball breaks loose, keeper, keeper thought it was like a hot potato and he just left it. Look at that pass. And that is so unlucky. It's Jordi Alba who makes the mistake. I don't think he sees Haaland still behind him. Look at his teammates. Absolutely fuming with him. Absolutely fuming. I wish this effort went in. Look at that. Oh, so unlucky. And then he turns. He's about to clear it. Haaland says, yeah, get off, mate. And the keeper's just like frozen. That is a scene that I love, though. That is what I love to see. Do you see that bald man on the bottom left? Just... Go on, that'll be the last kick of the game. Hey, 2-2. Two, two. We've secured third place, mathematically, and Haaland pretty much secured the golden boot. Surely, there's only two games left. We've done that a couple of times this season. Come back from the dead, from the brink of defeat. Look how bad the ratings are, though. Really? 4.5 for Pulisic. He was decent, man. 4.5 for death. Yeah, I get that. Klosterman, 4.5. They're having me on. If Atletico Madrid have lost, I'm going to be really annoyed. Really annoyed, because then we could have... Oh, they've drawn... If, oh, we're dropping points when they drop points. Seriously. Second place should have been ours, guys. They haven't made it through. Athletic, uh, Athletic Club Bilbao lost anyway. But two games remaining. Third place is ours. And Real Sociedad, actually, who we know are a very good team at the moment, have um, propelled themselves into the top four. Real Madrid are champions. We knew that a while ago. Atletico are going to clinch second. There's six points to play for. The gap is five points. But they've dropped points in the last two games. They're not going to continue... To do that, Cadiz down, Elche down, Cuesca, Granada, Celta Vigo, Tafe and Ibar all battling it out, but they're pretty much safe, aren't they, up there in 14th? Imagine being 14th with two games to go and getting relegated. That would be harsh, but drop a like if you enjoyed the vid, guys. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you for the final episode where we take on Osasuna.